Hi, you guys. The tension in the car right now is, it's like, it's brewing. But I don't have any tension, though. There is tension between the three of us. Who's the three? Right. Well, not really, because we're asleep. Baby, wake her up. I'm trying. You guys, Josh and I knew, honestly, going into this, that we shouldn't leave the house at the time we're leaving the house. It's 12.30, Rise nap time is around this time, like between 12.30 and 1.30, depending. And we were like, we probably shouldn't leave the house because she's gonna fall asleep in the car and we actually need her to nap in her crib today so we can work while she sleeps. And we just got to Target and is she asleep? Shardy's not. Baby, wake her up. Okay, the tension. The pregnancy hormones. Well, I literally said don't let her fall asleep. What am I supposed to do? Wake her up. I'm about to go get her, but what am I supposed to hey, do? Hey, go get her, get her, get her. I, I am. Right now. But I just want to know, what am I supposed to do? What do you mean, I'm driving? I don't know, blast on some music or something. Why would I start on my daughter? Operation Keep Right Up at Target is this not going to be not. good. We're going to have to let her walk. She's not going to want to be, she's going to want to be held. Oh my gosh, that's uh, look so at that. Look at that, look at that, look at that. There she goes, Good there she morning. goes. The actual main thing that I wanted to get from Target is I want to get red raspberry leaf tea. I think I still have some left over. I'll talk more about that later, but if you don't know, it's really good to drink in your third trimester. So I'm going to make like a little cocktail, red raspberry leaf. Cocktail? A, mo a mocktail. Yeah, hold on now. A mocktail. <laughs> we need a broom. We don't have a broom in because our house because my wife thinks she can just dice up everything. A low key, we can dice in everything, except for lately, we've been breaking a lot of glass. Well, actually, Riella. She gets a hold of cups sometimes and drops them. We do need a broom in that instance. Because you sh She's saying Alexa because she wants the music to turn on in the car, if you guys are wondering. If glass breaks, I feel like you shouldn't put that in your vacuum. That can't be good for the vacuum. So I agree that we need a broom for only that instance, though. What else would you need a broom for? Anyways, I'll show you maybe what else we get, too. Uh -huh. Hey, Rai Rai, can I see your shirt? What does your shirt say? Uh, Big sis. Uh, it's begun. Okay. All right, uh, Operation Keep Right Up is in full effect. We put her in the car seat and she started screaming. Right in the, in the um, Yes, in the cart. And she started screaming. Yeah, she wasn't with it. The baby, that honey bun called my name. It's the last one. I know. What could I get? <laughs> <laughs> Girl, I'm not watching where you go. Yeah, I like your fit. Thanks. Let me see the outfit of the day. Hold on, what we got on top? This is actually it's Nordstrom, but it's from Thread Up. And then this dress is from Zara. Okay. Jacket. And Levi. Jacket Levi. And then my new balances. Uh, Five fifty. Since we're doing outfits of the days, your boy, y'all. This is my favorite sweater ever. I just got it like last week, and I can't take it off. Buy a brand called the Yellow Label. Mm -hmm. Then I got these sweats from uh, where are these bad boys from? Minimal. You know it's bad when she starts to lay her head down. I mean, obviously, but like she's getting comfortable. We need to hurry up. I feel like we're taking our sweet time. <laughs> she's laughing. All right, y'all. We was headed home, but Savannah gave me a good idea. The boy done stopped that little shazies. A midday pizza on a warm day is really nostalgic. That's so nostalgic. I had this growing up. Little Caesars is such a Detroit thing. One time a couple weeks ago, we got it. And I had, literally hadn't had it since. I don't know how, how old I was, but it's time to get it now. We about to go home and eat this. And Ra, show her, is she still up? Yeah, she, she's watching Nemo while I hold the phone for her. Usually she'll hold the phone for her. We don't usually do like too much screen time in the car, but you gotta do what you gotta do because she's keeping, it's keeping her awake right now. And like we said, it's crucial, especially for Josh and I to work while Ryla naps, especially today. And it's the only, literally the only time of day that we can get like uninterrupted hours, so. Oh, we acting different today. We got the roof open today. It's so warm. Acting different. Where's the scissors? Ooh, it ain't the freshest, but that's the risk you do with high ready. Why is it not the freshest? Okay. Baby, can you go get that box out of here? We got raspberry leaf, organic. I think this is to induce some labor. Uh, we got some mayo, it's so small. I think this is uh, for a panini. We got some little bites. I think that's for a little bite in there. No, those are for me. Yeah. We got some Santa Cruz, um, organic, pure lemon juice. Treats for the dogs. Honey buns for me and my honey bun. Rye got these uh, blueberry muffins. Why do you film the back of the box? <laughs> Bananas. This is not the back of the box. Baby, it's the same oh, oh, thing. Oh, okay. This is my haul. Sorry, Stay over there okay. once. Got a broom and a dustpan because, you know, I don't want to be using like mail or like, you know, some magazines or something. Can't be ghetto now. We got a pitcher. I think this is for uh, some Kool-Aid. Sandwich bags for uh, some sandwiches. And last but not least, Neast dish detergent. But we about to eat lunch. Then we're going to put a ride down and we'll see y'all after that. That's 
buy lemon juice. You already put, wait. You already had lemon juice? I guess, but good thing that we got more because I don't have it anymore. That's besides the point. This is literally, this is why we need a broom. I just told you guys, all we do is break glass. Our fridge, does this happen to anyone else? This thing just falls off. I think it means that we have it too full. Hold on, baby, don't move. These were my doggone pants I was wearing today. So already not fresh. Okay, hold on, hold on. These pants just got washed. Y'all still here? <sighs> I'm just trying to eat, bruh. If you guys could have just witnessed the chaos that occurred in our house. Um, where I was so past ready for a nap and I'm about to get on this call for a like Instagram brand deal that I have coming up. It's supposed to be just like a 15 minute call. Also, do I have like, I feel like my makeup is needs to be blended. Something's going wrong. Um, our mission as a brand is to All right guys, Josh is putting Rye down for her much needed nap and I thought it would be the perfect time. It's nice and peaceful and quiet in the house. Um, I was gonna do a little spring thrift try on haul for you guys. I mentioned I got this shirt from ThreadUp and I placed an order, I got a few other things too. Sorry you guys, I am so out of breath. I literally walked from the kitchen to the living room. 31 weeks pregnant, you know, it'll really get you. It was really fun to order from ThreadUp this time. I've ordered from them in the past and we've worked with them and I wanna say thank you to them for sponsoring today's video. If you guys don't know, ThreadUp is an online consignment and thrift store. I do like thrifting, but I feel like going in the stores can be very time consuming. So when I can just do it from the palms of my hands on my phone at night in the comfort of my bed, I am super pregnant. So I have to get creative when it comes to shopping, but ThreadUp does have maternity stuff. I I actually didn't order any specific maternity items. I typically tried to just size up in clothing when ordering. So I got a size large in this t-shirt and I love it because it's kind of like an oversized fit. This is originally a $71 t-shirt and I got it for $16.99. It feels brand new. This stuff is very high quality and it doesn't feel used. And if it does, it's like very, very gently. Okay, next piece. I'm obsessed with this color. I actually wore this to church last Sunday. It's like the perfect little springy happy color. This is from Express. But something that I really love specifically about ThreadUp is that it makes shopping secondhand super convenient. Every time I shop secondhand, I save enough water to make 74 matcha lattes. Matcha is heavy on my mind right now because coffee, if you guys listen to the podcast, you know I've kind of been like, eh, about it. 74 matcha lattes, that's a lot. Okay, next thing I ordered was this dress. I actually wore this in our last vlog. A lot of you guys were asking where it's from. It's originally from H&M and it was $32, but on ThreadUp, I got it for $19.99. I love like the off the shoulder moment and this would actually look really cute with the lilac blazer I just had on too. Okay, next I got this dress. This dress is from Urban Outfitters originally and it actually still has the tags on it. So it's brand new. We're going to Josh's nanny's birthday dinner tonight and I actually might wear this. Let me show you guys. I think I might pair it with this denim jacket which I also got from ThreadUp. This is from Zara. I feel like a denim is the perfect staple piece to have for spring because it's like you kind of still need a jacket because it's a little chilly but you don't need like a full-on coat. I'm gonna do like some hauls over on my Instagram too. I got a few more things that I'll show over there. Thank you so much to thread up for sponsoring this video and if you guys want to use my code use code sav for 40% off on your first thread up order it's an extra 40% off like I said obviously stuff is already marked down like I mentioned the prices so the savings you guys it's it's just it's so good all right guys I changed back into my outfit that I was wearing for the day because this is just the most comfy option so I think I'm gonna wear this for now because I'm actually about to mop our floors really quick Josh would be highly upset if he knew I was doing this he doesn't want me to be doing a lot of extra things right now but I just I think I'm nesting because I just need it to be really clean at all times also Josh's family is staying with us tonight and I can never have guests without a clean house so I'm just gonna mop the floor really quick it takes like two seconds babe come on I know you're editing this I know you're mad at me I love you All right, just mopped. I've officially lost it. You know it's getting real when you bust out the magic eraser. But we have like food on our wall and I wonder who that's from. Baby, let the people know how you feel that I mopped the floors because I told them that you'd be upset with me. What'd you say? I said, <laughs> I said let them know how you feel that I mopped the floors because I told them that you'd probably be upset with me. I was saying because you don't like when I do extracurricular when I'm so pregnant. Yeah, that and the reasoning is definitely because our floors, it's time for them to be mopped. I 
to my wife over here doing her hauls and showing y'all the stuff that she got. Do y'all want to see the, the stuff that I've got? Let me show y'all. <laughs> I ain't got nothing. But Savannah, we was talk, she was talking about on her podcast. She was talking about how I, I've been like buying more things lately. Savannah just gets super shocked when there's like a package for me, you know, four times out of the week. Hey, Usually. Don't say four times out of the week, like that's just like okay. Y'all been here for a minute. Y'all know when we vlog, there's like Amazon packages that say Savannah, and that's every day of the week. Now that it's me, y'all get in trouble. We're gonna be outside this summer. We're gonna have two little babies. I'm never coming inside. We're gonna be outside. I gotta have the right fashion, the right wear. This sweater is one of them for the summer nights. I ain't never taking it off, so y'all gonna see me in this all the time. I think I got some shoes too. Hold on. Boy just almost just lost his life. Uh, these bad boys, I knew, brought these boys out for Easter yesterday. My boy, uh, Ruigi. That's just something light though. I'm about to get some shots up and we'll see what happens after that. Probably gotta go outside, enjoy this weather. All right, y'all, we got out the house. We came to the park. We have to take advantage of this weather. Yeah, I know. You saying hi, baby? I think Rye is starting to know what like going outside is, going to the park is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go, baby. Rye. Yeah, yeah. what? Go up. Good job. <laughs> hi. Hi, why, why? <laughs> Ugh. I don't know about them hips. I don't know if I can fit. I'm being dead serious. Oh, I can fit. Okay, okay ready, be right? careful. One, two, three. Jesus. Okay. All right. Okay. Everybody, all right. You okay? We'll go, with Daddy. Daddy's probably better for that job. Why is swing so tall? Oh, Baby, you are doing stuff that you are not supposed to be doing. Wee. All right, you guys. I'm currently sitting down at the park because. I'm just kind of past the point of like, even just everyday mundane activities, I get extremely winded. I feel like I'm always just the type, like even when I was pregnant with Rye, I remember my third trimester, I was like extra tired, but I'm just the type that usually just like pushes through. With this pregnancy, Josh is really good at reminding me to sit down and rest, but I'm trying to give myself more grace and just sit down when I need to sit down basically. And if you are pregnant, that's some advice that I would give you is just to rest when and if you can because we need all the rest we can get. But yeah, that's part of the reason why today I wanna make the red raspberry leaf tea also because I started doing that, I think I was around 30 weeks with Ryan. I would try to drink a cup like every night. I was pregnant in the winter with her, so I would do hot tea like before bed, but I found like a fun little TikTok recipe and it's more like a summery vibe. So I'm gonna make that and like make it in this big picture. So maybe we'll do that when we get home because I wanna start drinking that every day. If I could repeat my birth experience, I would repeat it just how it was. I feel like it was like my dream labor and delivery story. So I'm gonna do everything the same that I did last time because I'm praying for a similar situation. I just put on one shoe and I'm exhausted. All right, a little time has passed and we are about to head to a birthday dinner. I don't know if Savannah told you guys. Today is my grandmother's 70th birthday. And we are throwing her a surprise birthday dinner with all the cousins, all the aunties. Yeah, she doesn't know. We're about to head there. Savannah brought out the leather jacket. Looking like a straight snack. Is our leather jacket still in, in for girls? I think so. Someone tell me, because I don't know. I always love a leather jacket. I feel like it just elevates any outfit easily. Cardigan, white tee. I'm wearing the jeans I wore yesterday for Easter. You got the crown? No, I'm just wearing them. Oh, nice. Where I got crayon on them, but what are you gonna do, huh? All right, well, and I'm wearing these. Forgot about these bad boys. Tell him what you did. <laughs> and you still 
trying to fight me saying that you didn't even do anything your boy just got arrested baby don't joke okay no that was a joke uh, i just got pulled over on our way home from dinner which was amazing by the way shout out to my nanny if you're watching this happy birthday i had a feeling i was gonna get pulled over baby i think you need to save this story for the podcast because it's like long and i need to save my piece but if we do it right now it's gonna be too long i got pulled over and i shouldn't have got pulled over yes but you should i don't know if i was speeding or not baby he's not pulling him out of his butt. no there's I other reasons why he could be whatever we'll <laughs> share the story on monday's podcast i do want to say if you need any help with some inducing baby, my wife stop. last time was like y'all go home and do this you'll have a baby maybe i need any help <laughs> Like this little crusty t-shirt it's not crusty no baby it's nice but like i put this t-shirt like in your drawer of like kind of like basketball like sleep crusty shirts because like i didn't think this was like a shirt that you like liked baby this is a nice shirt from urban outfitters no it's nice but i just feel like you have way nicer white t-shirts i don't no that's the whole thing i don't have to wear a super bright white tee oh so you kind of like the dingy look stop you you've called my shirt crusty <laughs> dingy <laughs> Baby, it's cute. No, it's nice. I love it. No, you don't. <laughs> Rye's sister in Rye's clothes. Because Rye used to be that small. Oh, gosh. That's why I had to stay in the room. Okay, all right. Time. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we made it back home. We made it. And our daughter is still up. She's still she, up. What is know, going what on? She, Hold on. Uh -oh. Hey, help. What happens? Oh, it's your piano. Do you want me to help you? Hey, Ryan, do you want to eat some pizza really quick and then take a nap? Or do you want to take a nap and then eat pizza? You need to eat some lunch. Just play the keys. Let me see. Let me see you, baby. Oh, sure. Show, show the squad what we've been working on. Good job, your little fingers. Let me hear mommy. Come on. Wait, I don't have all my keys. This is my signature. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. It sounds like a Halloween movie. I still want to know who taught her that, because I ain't teach her my that. My sister's friend, Sorsha. My sister's friend, Sorsha. She did. <laughs>